guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing a video about my favorite metal albums releases of 2021. I know I'm a little bit late with this because everyone was doing this in December, but you guys have requested me to do this video many times, so I'm still going to do it. I really hope that you still enjoy it, even though 2022 has started already. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite albums of 2021. I must admit that usually I don't really make end of the year lists. I am pretty bad at ranking albums so I just made a list and it's a little bit randomly. I just put the ones that I enjoy the most on the top and then the rest a little bit randomly. Anyway, um, let's start. 2021 was a great year for metal. So many cool albums have been released. Like I said, without talking too much about it, I'm going to share my favorite releases of 2021. I own most of them on vinyl and the rest I'm just gonna include in the screen. I really hope that you're excited to watch. If you are, then please give the video a thumbs up because that would really help my channel out a lot. I'm gonna save the best, in my opinion, for the last. And without further ado, let's just move on to the album number 20, which for me was Mania Cult by Aborted. I received this album at the end of 2021. To be honest, I don't know what month every album was released. I also don't really care. I'm just gonna share them with you and I hope that you will like it. Obviously, I knew Aborted. I have seen them live, I think, in 2016 or something at Grass Pop Metal Meeting. I knew that they're cool, but besides that, I wasn't really familiar with their words. So this is the first album in my collection. I got it on vinyl. The artwork is super cool it's a gateful album cover and this is the track list i am gonna go through the albums quite quickly otherwise this video is gonna be really long so anyway my number 20 was mania cult by aborted number 19 for me was senjutsu by iron maiden like most of you guys know iron maiden is one of my absolute favorite bands ever it's a shared number one spot together with death i absolutely love iron maiden but I, I must admit that I am not really super impressed by the album, but because they're my favorite band, I still wanted to include them in this video. So here is the artwork, which is super cool. I kind of want to get the album on vinyl, but it's like over 50 euros for a triple vinyl edition. I don't know if it's worth it to me. I would like to complete my collection, but on the other side, I could get so many other cool albums from the money. It sounds a lot like of the Book of Souls, which I overall really like. But to be honest, I didn't really need an extension to that one. It's not a bad album, it just doesn't really get me. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the album and maybe your favorite track that I should check out. Number 18 for me was Lichtvrees by Doodsbands. I don't think that you guys would expect me to put a black metal release in my list because black metal overall isn't really my thing. But anyway, I think that this is a really cool release. I know both of the girls, Frauke and Inge, they both did the same study as I did. I just want to include them in the list because I'm super happy for them for their success of the release and yeah they're super cool girls so go check them out if you haven't already especially if you're into black metal you will love it number 17 necro sapiens by based i hope i'm pronouncing it right i'm still not entirely sure but anyway um yeah super cool death metal also released by central media i must admit that a lot of these albums are released by central media because um, I haven't been the best at keeping up with new releases the past years and they have sent me so many of their albums which for me was a great way to discover new music so don't be surprised if there are a lot of Central Media releases in this video. Um, this video is not sponsored, but some of the unboxings were. If you want to check them out, then I will put a link in the top right corner over here. This is a death metal band from Denmark. I really enjoyed the album. There is a lot of death metal in this list because the past year I've been listening to a lot of death metal. If you've been following me for a longer time already, you know that I used to be all about thrash metal and I still absolutely love thrash metal, but I'm just 
really getting into the world of death metal and I'm really enjoying it. Number 16, I will include the album art right here, is Hell Unleashed by Evil. What can I say about it? It's just good thrash metal. Then number 15 is the self-titled album by Angelus Apatrida. Um, really dark artwork, which I really like. I'm still really bad at pronouncing some of the band names, but whatever. I have seen them live like years ago um, and I think they're a cool band. This is the first album by them that I own on vinyl. Um, so yeah, super cool. I'm just gonna go through all the albums quite quickly because otherwise this video is gonna be really long because usually I only discuss like maybe four or five albums. On number 14 I placed Persona Non Grata by Exodus. I really love Exodus, unfortunately I don't own any of their albums in my collection. I really wish to add some of them to my collection soon, but yeah. I really hope that this video is fun to watch because I don't have a lot to say about all of the albums, to be honest. Like, if you want to know when it was released and all the band members and just some in-depth information, you can just look it up on Google. Like, you don't need me for that. Yeah, just so you know my list, I really hope that you like it anyway. On spot number 13, I placed Fortitude by Gojira. Gojira is a super cool band. I was actually supposed to go see them live next month, but unfortunately, due to obvious reasons, it has been postponed again. So yeah, kind of bummed out about that. I must admit that I am not a really big fan of the album artwork. Like, it's cool, but I like the previous ones better. At number 12, we have The Nightmare of Being by At The Gates. I think all of you guys know At The Gates, so I don't really have to explain too much about it. I really enjoy this album. Again, this is the first album by the band in my collection. I have been expanding my collection a lot the past year. Because, like I said already, some of them were sent to me, which I'm super grateful for. And I also have a really cool job since April last year, so I have a little bit more money to spend on vinyl records. So I'm really rediscovering my hobby. So yeah, super grateful. Um, the Nightmare of Being by At The Gates. On spot number 11, we have Wallflower by Ginger. I must admit that Ginger was a band that I had been sleeping on a little bit. Obviously, I knew them by name and I knew that their vocalist is a super cool front woman. But besides that, I never really checked out any of their music. But I've been doing that the past year and I absolutely love it. It's a super cool band and yeah, they released a really cool album in 2021. So yeah. Wallflower by Ginger. On number 10, we have a cool crossover death metal band called Enforce. They released this album called Kill Grid. Before I received this album, I didn't really know them, but this is such a cool release. It's, like I said, crossover death metal, but it also has some thrash metal influences. Together with this album, I also received a really cool Enforce long sleeve that belongs with the album. You could have seen me wear it all the time. So yeah. Kill Grid by Enforced. On spot number 9 we have a band that took me so long to learn how to pronounce and I'm still not sure if I got it right by now but this album is called Tortured Hole and is by Sengui Sugabok. I think I got it right, I'm not really sure. Correct me in the comments uh, if I'm still saying it wrong. When I first got this album I didn't even know the band name because I cannot read this shit. This is the back of the album and like the song titles and the theme of this album and the band in general isn't really my thing. For example we have songs called Menstrual Envy, Dragged by a Truck, Dick Filet. Like it's not my kind of theme but still I really enjoyed the music itself. On spot number 8 we have something from my own country. This is a Dutch death metal band. It's Asphyx and their latest album is called Necroserox. Necroseros. Necroseros? I'm so bad at pronouncing things today. Excuse me. Really cool album cover. It's just very dark and green, which I really like. This is the back of the album. 
Number seven is an album that I, again, haven't added to my collection just yet, but is the new release by Carcass. I really like the album art, it's super cool, very basic, but really fucking cool. The album is called Torn Arteries. I think every one of you guys know Carcass, so if you haven't checked this album out just yet, then go check it out, it's super cool. On spot number six, we have another death metal release, and this is Echoes of the Soul by Crypta. Like I explained in one of my final updates, I had been sleeping on them a little bit. I follow them on Instagram, I had seen all the teasers, but I just hadn't checked out the full album before I added this to my collection, but it's a really cool death metal album. I'm all about women supporting women, so I really had to add this to my collection. And they sound great. I got it on vinyl, it's a Gateful album cover. This is what the back looks like. Then it's time for the top 5 already. On spot number 5 I put Het Kawoord by Hang Youth. They are a punk band from Amsterdam in the Netherlands and I really like them. All their lyrics are Dutch so I don't really know if you care about it but still I've been listening to this album on repeat on Spotify. They haven't released it physically so that's why I'm just including the artwork over here. The songs are very short, they are all under one minute. The album features 20 songs and it's only 15 minutes long so it's just a perfect punk album in my opinion. The lyrics are very socially critical which I really like, very leftist um, but they are very humorous as well and I just think it's super cool and it gives a voice to like the problems that my generation experiences. So yeah, super cool, I really like it, so we just had to put it in here, even though most of you guys probably don't understand anything because they are Dutch. Then on spot number four, we have another Dutch band, which is Cryptosis. I don't really know how they describe themselves, but I guess I would say death trash metal. This album is called Bionic Swarm, and when I got this album, I was saying in the video like, I've never heard of them before, but actually I have heard of them before. Before they released this album as Cryptosis, they were a trash metal band called Distillator, so that is why I was a little bit confused. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is a really cool album. I really like the artwork as well and the concept of the album. I got it on Gatefold. I think it's just really cool to also support some Dutch metal because I'm from the Netherlands and there are so many great Dutch metal releases the past year. So yeah, Cryptosis. Then it's time for the top three. On spot number three I placed Perpetual Chaos by Nervosa. Fresh metal band. I think all of the members live in Europe now. Um, but this is the first album that they released with the new lineup and I absolutely love it. It's so cool. Some really cool trash metal made by all women. I think that it's great that so many women in metal released great albums the past year. I really love to support other women in metal because obviously the music is great. That is the most important, otherwise they wouldn't have made it onto the list. But it's also super cool to have more female role models in the metal scene for younger girls to look up to. I just absolutely love it. The next band on spot number two is Crypt of Ice by Frozen Soul. When I received this album I had never heard of them before and I also couldn't really read the logo. Like now that I know the name it's kind of obvious but back then I didn't really know. It's a really cool death metal band. I absolutely love them. I've been following them ever since I discovered them. I really like that they have this whole Frozen ice kind of theme, their whole band name and concepts and merchandise revolves around the team. I think it's super cool. And they also have a really cool chick on bass over here. But yeah, absolutely one of my favorite releases of 2021. I've been listening to it a lot. Then it's time for the last album from my list, number one, which I didn't really expect at the beginning of the year, but it is Cannibal Corpse, Violence, unimagined. I must admit, like I did in one of my previous videos as well, I wasn't a big fan of Cannibal Corpse before, 
Um, maybe I just hadn't listened to them enough. Besides their hits, I just didn't really get into their albums. But this is such a great album. I absolutely love it. The artwork is great as well. I had seen them live once, but that was mostly for the meme and to see the neck in real life, I must admit. But this is such a cool album. I absolutely love it. Without a doubt, my favorite release of 2021. I just think it's so cool. Uh, my favorite song is probably Inhumane Harvest. I've heard this from a lot of other people as well, that they weren't really into Cannibal Corpse, but that they really enjoyed this album. So if you're like me and you never really cared about them, then go check out this album because you might fall in love with it just like I did. So that was my top 20 list of my favorite releases of the past year. I feel like this video was very chaotic. I don't really know if you guys noticed because maybe it was just me feeling all over the place in my head and I will probably edit out a lot of the bullshit. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed watching to this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite releases of 2021 were. I would really like to read all of your comments and I hope you're happy that I finally did a best of the year, end of the year list video because you guys have been asking me all the time to do it. I don't really have anything else to add. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with a new video very soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye!